I need to tell you a little East Side story, Essen, about two brothers. You are my water, and you are my power. You can't have one without the other. Two carnales named Water and Power. One brother did something good, the other did something bad. Congratulations on the film. My first question is to um, Richard. Yep. Uh, tell me, how has it been uh, to go from stage to film? It's been a process, you know. It's not always uh, without some pain and, and growing pains. But, you know, theater is pretty intimate. You know, you're in a rehearsal hall, you know, with my Culture Clash boys. And so, you know, you're checking in with each other. There's a the director. And, and, and you have weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks in a room to rehearse this thing. If I said I came in having everything mapped out and locked on, no, it, you had it. You completely collaborative and people challenging and making me a better filmmaker. Even even to this day, cutting trailers with Eddie makes me better director. Well, I gotta tell you, it's a very difficult thing to shoot a movie twelve days, actually twelve nights. It's a different sauté. I wanted to ask Mr. Almost um, when you saw the, the play initially, what what was it about that? connected you to, to Richard's work? Uh, the play was fantastic. The film was brilliant. Uh, literally brilliant. Because of the fact that the people that are sitting here that uh, performed it. It's an American story of coming of age, ambitions, unchecked ambitions, and really a great old-fashioned American cautionary tale is what we're doing. It just happens to be for East Los authentically. Yeah, how did you feel, Wanda, and you're seeing with all the other class, it, it, um, it feels like it just created that spark. After seeing the play, Richard and I had a conversation about this would make a brilliant screenplay. And uh, he comes at me with a screenplay. And I read it and I said, oh my God, it's wonderful. So how I felt is that I wanted to be part of this story. I wanted to be part of a Latino American experience with a wordsmith like him and a visionary like Richard. So there's a large message here in a Chicano noir kind of film in one night. I love this movie. It kind of felt like you're like the balance of both, you know, both, both brothers. Tell me how, how that role, what, what it did for you and what. You know, what I did the play seven years ago with the Marti Bruno and Rick Salinas from Culture Cats played that role. And I played a different role. And I, every night I got to see him perform that role, and I was like, Wow, what a great role, you know, he did an amazing job. And uh, so fast forward all these years later, I, I was able to do that role, man, something that I, I wanted to be did. And uh, I love North Sur, always will. It's my heart forever. Uh, tell me about your role, what you liked the most about it. It was, uh, it was a very fun role to play. I, I read it and, and, and Richard's words were just so so beautiful and so poetic. It's just uh, like a beautiful, you know, poem to Los Angeles. I didn't want to ask you about that, the scene in the car. Yeah, scene in the car. It was, I, and I said, it's just so crazy that it, but it's brilliant. And so, uh, you know, so I'm not, not changing anything, like, I'm just going to do it. And it was real, though, because my dad told me the same things. Not the way he said, you know, I'm no, my dad's from the rancho, from the Fiscas, from the Fiscas from Texas, you know? Yeah. And some things he would say, so even as a kid, they, you know they were not right, but dad's saying them, so they got to be right. But you know, like, you're like, that don't make no sense. You know, mm -hmm. quick, you know? but it's, when I seen that role, it reminded me of my dad, man. It was a trip. Was yeah, he was giving him love the best way. He, that's you know, all you know. Best, you know? Jacob came in with really short notice, and we were very lucky, very lucky that it just I, fell I, in. I had, I had like eight, six hours notice, some of that. Okay. I, I got called on a Sunday to work on a Monday. And it's so an absolute, absolute <laughs> heart, heart yeah. and soul. Go, Go and see Water and Power.